So today in this particular video, we'll be creating a data warehouse and to the Snowflake, how to create it, how to create the account in data, the Snowflake, those all things will be covered separately. In this particular video, we'll be like focusing on how to create a data warehouse and there are different types of where, uh, like data modelings are there, like star schema is there, uh, Snowflake schema are there. So basically in this particular video, we'll be doing a star schema a modeling and we'll be creating everything practically in front of you and everything will be coding and you'll be using a prerequisites are you should be aware of something about sql next thing you should be aware of how to create you should be having an account of snowflake how to create i'll just show you so here uh, this is the account of snowflake i have that i have created this is my own account i have i have just linked uh, gcp here like gcp is linked in it so how to create it so firstly just go to here you will be getting 400 credits 400 dollar credits basically so how to give uh, just right here snowflake sign up if you want a separate video on this tap it there but you can create like uh, when when uh, you can just try it out that sign up uh, snowflake and you will be getting 30 days trial here and uh, 400 dollar uh, credit for free, free usage directly you will be getting from here in the company email give your uh, like direct normal gmail id and uh, for company name i have just given test or student something like that and just clear uh, on the role give as a data engineer data scientist or anything just start from here it is just for their uh, storage purpose okay so after this if you want a video, separate video how to create the account how to do it just uh, like uh, give me that like uh, in the comments i'll just create it a video so here what i'll be doing here as you can see here so firstly i am having the 400 credits i have just created it today so that we can make the video here and uh, what we'll be doing we'll creating this uh, uh, data warehouse and how we'll be doing so now we have the account so firstly we'll be going to this one and i'll giving you overview of the this one also the 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 a brief overview of how the panel looks like so basically i'll zoom a bit in 2025 so here this is the admin panel where the usage data warehouses how many data warehouses are there how many spent is there those all things credit spent the data warehouse of compute wh is there that is already started it is a x excess size that is extra small size data warehouse that we are having right now user roles are there that is my user role i have just created i created my username as unrack 2410 so that is there resource monitors are there you can just create a resource monitor from here and you can just see from here but right now we don't have any on the home page you will be seeing all the data warehouses on the projects all the worksheets all the data dashboards everything whatever is created it will be showing here in the project section you will be seeing all your sql files your python files so these all some samples will be created from here only the python files you can also create your python files from here you can also create the git repository from here you can see your dashboard from here from the tables you can see here and if you want to see the data directly tap on the data your tables and the databases will be listed here only so right now we have a data a database of snowflake sample data so we will be utilizing that and also we can create uh, your own database so firstly what i'll be doing i'll be creating one normal sql file that is sql worksheet i'll be creating i'll tap on that and i'll just say create database create database uh, auto complete will be coming so no need to worry about that thing and i'll be saying that uh, tutorial tutorial db or uh, something like that so i'll just give here and just run it uh, so here the, the every time you need to see here that your account admin is selected and your data warehouse is running or not either it is uh, given or not so this is how the work looks like and just run it it will be creating your database successfully it has just created it i'll zoom a bit again so here you can see your database here that is tutorial db it, is in, it has been just created and you are having information schema public uh, public data database here like a table here so here you can see everything the definition of it everything from it so this is how the snowflake looks like so next step is next to create the schema within a table so if you want to create a schema you can just say create a schema and you can just say like create spelling is wrong i'll just write in caps only so that it is much more uh, like uh, better to see so next thing is uh, our tutorial db dot i want to create a schema called as public or public is already available so i'll just say public it is already available but we'll just create it so it is already available it will show as already exists so we'll just delete it so that you have the idea how to delete it uh, or just we'll create the schema like this uh, test something like this test will create it and it will be created here so here when you will uh, refresh it from here you can see that test schema is also created and a uh, definition is also there and who has created it, it will show here so this is how it looks like next now we need to define a simple star schema now i'll just show you on google how a star and snowflake schema look like star schema i'll just say what is snowflake schema i'll just create show it so 
I'll just show you how the star schema and snowflake schema looks like. This is a simple star schema. How it looks like basically, this is a fact table in between where uh, all the numerical values or all the keys will be stored. And these are dimension which will uh, like dimension tables will be there. All are, all are the tables, these are fact tables, these are dimension tables. So this is how it looks like. But the snowflake schema, it looks like something like that. That is basically we will be having firstly the the fact table in between now the dimension table they, it can have some dimension table also it can have a dimension table also and it can have a multiple sub dimension table multiple sub sub dimension tables like nested tables can also be there that is very complex uh, this one so firstly we'll go on the star schema we'll make one simple star schema and we'll start with that so i'll will uh, what we'll be doing we'll be creating two of the data sets that are the tables one is a customer one is the product table so basically this is how it looks like and i'll be showing you from here that is this is the first one is the product one and we'll be creating in the test so i'll just give it a test uh, here or in the public also we can create it i'll just give it public only so that it is better to understand so just for understanding purpose we'll just give it public okay so we are creating two tables the first table is having product id int type product name string type category string type uh, pr price de decimal type and this is having customer table that is having some of the data that is customer ID, customer name and this all things so this is uh, this is what we are creating the dimension tables this these are our dimension tables which will be having all the data related to customer and products so in this only we can see here in the tables there is a customer there is a table our table should also come customer and table product uh, should also come so here what we have uh, done so next step will be like creating the fact table. So fact table will be, we'll be creating a sales table that will be like uh, connected to both of the tables and we'll be connecting how the references will be. I'll showing you that is uh, we have just created one table that is a fa like fact table that is named, known as sales. And in this sales ID will, that is will be a primary key that will connect to the sales table. The product ID that will connect to the product table. Uh, uh, sorry, the sales ID will be the primary key of this table. Product ID will be connected to product table. Customer ID will Will be connected to the customer table and, and we have just given the reference also of the table that is tutorial db so that this table will only be created when this table uh, values are there suppose we insert something so that value should also be there in the customer table like customer table or the product table so these all things will be references of it so that should already be there then sales table sales date is there and this one is there so i'll just run it and it will store like what is the problem in this uh, we don't have a product table we'll just run it again so that we create the product table again so now the product table should be available huh, now it is available so now we'll run it again that is a sales one we'll just say that it is sales and it is created now it is created we are having the sales table also in this only it should come there's a sales table and we can see the definition from here how it is connected and all everything will be written here so right now what we have to do now that is we need to load a sample data so sample data i'll be just picking it from the csv or we can uh, we can also give, give the insert into table so i'll just take from the chat gpt that is these are uh, like some of the sample data that i have just inserted that is a tutorial of a product is there values of the public customer is there and the sales is there we'll just run it one by one it will just store everything like it will uh, all the table is having the data now like if you want to see the data you can also do a select star on it that means the data is there so right now after this after this we need to query the data on the warehouse so basically to query it if you are doing a sales id that one so basically you need to say select off right now what you want to do you need to say uh, like sale id that is id i want i want the c dot customer id customer id comma p dot product name customer id not customer name comma p dot product name product name then what i want these are the three major things that i that are there then sales uh, sale date is there that i will be taking comma s dot quantity will be there that i will be taking taking next what i want what i want are the total amount just for a reference it is the random things that i am taking okay total amount now what i need to do i need to do a from on which table the firstly first table that is uh, this one this table that is the sales table we will be doing here from here that is uh, uh, what is that uh, tutorial tutorial db dot public dot sale okay so this is done now i need to give a alias of it that is s 
now next i need to join this like i need to join these tables uh, rest two tables also on the basis of the key ids so basically i will also join these tables that is tutorial tutorial dot public dot customer dot customer uh, <coughs> see on which which id i need to join now s dot customer id is there is equal to c dot customer id customer id so i need to join this and uh, next is i need to also join one more table that is i will be just writing like this and tutorial dot public dot customer uh, not customer product so now i need to say that product p on s dot product id is equal to p dot product id product id so this is how the product id this is how i have created the star schema here now i can just run it and see how it looks like and how is the data looking so basically this is the data where so now when i run it basically in this only we'll be having some of the data that is matching between these two columns and we'll be having the full data that is fact table and the dimension table are included now and uh, now what we can do now we there are some steps of partitioning there are some steps of indexing there are some steps of optimizing this particular table now suppose we are having only nine ten lines of code but we when we are working on the live environment there will be tables there will be queries having hundreds of lines of thousands of lines of code so in that particular scenario we have to do some optimization so i'll just show you or uh, just demonstrate to you basically the simple optimization steps that is based on the like uh, basically Sno uh, snowflake will automatically do some of the optimizations some micro partition it will do so no need to worry about that one but apart from this if you want to do exclusive uh, what we say uh, optimizations so firstly you can do a partition by partition by on date you can do on the sales table when you are creating the table of sales of uh, customer of product you can just give a part what we say you can just give up um, partition by column you can just give a cluster by column something like that you can give so that the data is partitioned properly and when we are querying on it it is easier for us so that is the one thing that you can do next is uh, second thing that you can do is basically uh, here you can see that optimizing if you want to setting up the clustering key if you want to set, set up a cluster key we can just alter the table like this and where we can just say that, suppose the table is created the sales table is created now you want to add a cluster by column a cluster by key so basically you can create it like this that is that means the on sales date i have created a clustered column now when you will run it it will be much faster so right now you will not see any effect but when the query is larger when the query is complex at that particular time these kind of clustered column will definitely help you so next is the like explore the partition and pruning like query there are uh, concepts of pruning there are concepts of partitioning the column to optimize the query so those all things are the these things will be asked in your interviews definitely that can help next is if you like right now if you are done you will go to your home you can see that there are credits there are usage there are different different things in the admin only you can see the usage of it how many credits are spent how many data is getting used so these all things can you see see from here so at last i'll just delete it so that it is easier for me or it is better for me to like uh, next i can come tomorrow also and i can do those things so i'll just delete this particular database and that is it that is it my full data is deleted and everything is refreshed now now i can do my tutorials again tips uh, when you are using a free account firstly like uh, don't do very complex task do same sample data should be there it should don't be very complex if you are loading a csv or if you are writing a csv from a different warehouse or from a different sources just to keep it simple so that it is easy and also monitor the credits because when you, i was preparing for my interviews for gcp at that particular time what happened at that particular time basically i'll say that at that particular time my credit got expired in 10 days only i don't know why because my compute was on that's why so close your compute or uh, delete your files drop your data sets so that it will be easier for you so it is only for the practice purpose not on the live environments okay don't drop anything on the live environments so this was all about the video if you want any more tutorials like this definitely let me know in the comments and i'll be posting more and more videos like this as per my experience as per my things and uh, these kind of things will definitely help you these kind of free videos will definitely give you an idea how to start with the things and how to practice it and how to clear the interviews so this was all about the video uh, apart from this particular video there are many more videos that you can just go and practice it uh, you can make your data pipeline you can make your real time processing everything is there on the video uh, on this channel so you can go and go and just try it out apart from this i have a vlog channel where i post uh, my personal life where i share my so many of experience gobne fellas related videos wahan pe aati rehti hain definitely that will give you so much of fun and uh, give uh, because i am a remote data engineer i keep sharing my experience
एक्सपीरियंसेज ऑन ऑल घूमने फिरता रहता हूँ तो वो सारी चीज़ें मैं शेयर करता रहता हूँ मैं अपनी लाइफ शेयर करता हूँ अदर देन दैट हमारा इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट है जहाँ पे हंड्रेड के लोग होने वाले हैं एक लाख लोग होने वाले हैं एंड वहाँ पे वी पोस्ट वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू रील्स रिलेटेड टू डेटा डोमेन एंड टू इंटरव्यू टिप्स रिलेटेड टू हैक्स जॉब्स दीज ऑल थिंग्स डेफिनेटली वहाँ पर बहुत मजा आएगा जाके ज्वाइन करो काफ़ी इंटरटेनिंग वे में काफ़ी चीज़ें बताते हैं वहाँ पर मिलता है जय हिंद वंदे मात्र पापा